Good evening and welcome to the holiest of nights. As Christians, we gather with joy and love in welcoming this Easter. We ask that you would consider it of the following. After the Easter candle is lit and our procession begins, you are more than welcome to walk into the cathedral behind the alet in, and with their sponsor in the procession. Since the cathedral will be somewhat dark, please watch your steps as you go in. We'll be lighting our candles inside. Please turn off all cellular phones and electric devices. Thank you for your cooperation. Buenas noches y bienvenidos a la noche más santa. Como cristiano, nos reunimos con alegría y amor para darle la bienvenida en esta Pascua. Le pedimos que por favor tome en cuenta la siguiente. Después de que se encienda el cirio pascual, y comienza nuestra procesión, están invitados a entrar a la catedral detrás de los elegidos y sus padrinos en la procesión. Dado que la catedral estará un poco oscura, tengan cuando entrar. Estamos incendiando nuestras velas adentro. Por favor, tengan sus teléfonos celulares y dispositivos electrónicos. Gracias por su cooperación. Dear brothers and sisters, in the name of the Father and Son of the Holy Spirit, dear brothers and sisters, on this most sacred night in which our Lord Jesus Christ passed over from death to life, the Church calls upon her sons and daughters scattered throughout the world to co come together to watch and pray. If we keep the memorial of the Lord's Pascha solemnity in this way, listening to his word and celebrating his mysteries, then we shall have the sure hope of sharing his triumph over death and living with him in God. Let us pray. O oh God, O oh God, who through your Son bestow upon the faithful the fire of your glory, sanctify this new fire, we pray. And grant that by these Paschal celebrations we may be so inflamed with heavenly desires that with minds made pure, we attain festivities of unending splendor through Christ our Lord. Amen. Christ, yesterday and today, the beginning and the end, the Alpha and the Omega. All times belong to Him and all the ages. To Him be glory and power to every age and forever. Amen. By his holy
and glorious wounds. May Christ the Lord guard us. Turn it to the side. Huh? And protect us. Amen. May the light of Christ, rising in glory, dispel the darkness of our hearts, hearts and minds. Lumen Christi.
Lumen Christi. Christi.
charity beyond all telling to ransom a slave you gave away your son necesario fue el pecado de Adán que ha sido borrado por la muerte de Cristo feliz la culpa que mereció tal redentor que en noche tan dichosa solo ella conoció el momento en que Cristo resucitó de This is the night of which it is written. The night shall be as bright as day. Dazzling is the night for me and full of gladness. The sanctifying power of this night Dispels wickedness, washes faults away, restores innocence to the fallen, and joy to mourners, drives out hatred, fosters concord, and brings down the mighty. In esta noche de gracia, acepta, Padre Santo, el sacrificio vespertino de alabanza que la Santa Iglesia te ofrece en la solemne ofrenda de este sirio. Obra de las abejas. But now we know the praises of this pillar, which glowing fire ignites for God's honor. A fire into many flames divided, yet never damned by sharing of this light. For it is fed by melting wax, drawn out by mother bees to build a torch of precious. Oh, truly blessed night, when things of heaven are wed to those of earth and divine to the human. Te rogamos, Señor, que este sirio, consagrado a tu nombre, para destruir la oscuridad de esta noche, arda sin apagarse, y aceptado como perfume, se asocia a las lumbreras del cielo. May this flame be found still burning by the morning star, the one morning star who never sets, Christ your Son, who coming back from death's domain has shed the peaceful light of humanity and lives and reigns forever and ever.
Please extinguish your candles and be seated. Dear brothers and sisters, now that we have begun our solemn vigil, let us listen with quiet hearts to the Word of God. Let us meditate on how God in times past saved His people, and in this, the last days, has sent us His Son as our Redeemer. Let us pray that our God may complete this Paschal work of salvation by the fullness of redemption. A reading from the book of Genesis. In the beginning, when God created the heavens and the earth, the earth was a formless wasteland, and darkness covered the abyss, while a mighty wind swept over the waters. Then God said, Let there be light, and there was light. God saw how good the light was. God then separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. Thus evening came, and morning followed, the first day. Evening came, morning followed, God saw that it was good. Evening came, morning followed, Then God said, let there be a dome in the middle of the waters to separate one body of water from the other. And so it happened. God made the dome and it separated the water above the dome from the water below it. God called the dome the sky. Evening came and morning followed the second day. Evening came, morning followed. God saw that it was good. Evening came, morning followed. God saw that it was good. Then God said, Let the water under the sky be gathered into a single basin, so that the dry land may appear. And so it happened. The water under the sky was gathered into its basin, and the dry land appeared. God called the dry land the earth, and the basin of the water he called the sea. God saw how good it was, then God said, let the earth bring forth vegetation, every kind of plant that bears seed, and every kind of fruit tree on earth that bears fruit with its seed in it. And so it happened. The earth brought forth every kind of plant that bears seed and every kind of fruit tree on the earth that bears fruit with seed in it. God saw how good it was. Evening came and morning followed. The third day. Evening came, morning followed. God saw that it was good. Evening came, morning followed, God saw that it was good. Then God said, let there be lights in the dome of the sky to separate day from night. Let them mark the fixed times 
the days and the years, and serve as luminaries in the dome of the sky to shed light upon the earth. And so it happened. God made the two great lights, the greater one to govern the day and the lesser one to govern the night. And he made the stars. God set them in the dome of the sky to shed light upon the earth, to govern the day and the night, and to separate the light from the darkness. God saw how good it was. Evening came and morning followed, the fourth day. Evening came, morning followed, God saw that it was good. Evening came, morning followed, God saw that it was good. Then God said, let the water teem with an abundance of living creatures, and on the earth let birds fly beneath the dome of the sky. And so it happened. God created the great sea monsters and all kinds of swimming creatures with which the water teems and all kinds of winged birds. God saw how good it was, and God blessed them, saying, Be fertile, multiply, and fill the water of the seas, and let the birds multiply on earth. Evening came, and morning followed, the fifth day. Evening came, morning followed, God saw that it was good. Evening came, morning followed, God saw that it was good. Then God said, let the earth bring forth all kinds of living creatures, cattle, creeping things, and wild animals of all kinds. And so it happened. God made all kinds of wild animals, all kinds of cattle, and all kinds of creeping things on earth. God saw how good it was. Then God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, and the cattle, and all over the wild animals, and all the creatures that crawl on the ground. God created man in his image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. God blessed them, saying, Be fertile and multiply. Fill the earth and subdue it. Have dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, and all living things that move on earth. God also said, See, I give you each seed, every seed-bearing plant all over the earth, and every tree that has seed-bearing fruit on it to be your food. And to all the animals of the land, all the birds of the air, and all the living creatures that crawl on the ground, I give all the green plants for food. And so it happened. God looked at everything he had made, and he found it very good. Evening came, and morning followed. The sixth day. Evening came, morning followed, God saw that it was good. Evening came, morning followed, God saw that it was good. Thus the heaven and the earth and all their array were completed. Since on the seventh day God was finished with the work he had been doing, he rested on the seventh day from all the work he had undertaken. The word of the Lord. Be Please stand. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who are wonderful in the ordering of all your works, let those you have redeemed understand 
there exists nothing more marvelous than the world's creation in the beginning, except that at the end of the ages, Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Lectura del Libro del Éxodo En aquellos días dijo el Señor a Moisés ¿Por qué sigues clamando a mí? Diles a los israelitas que se pongan en marcha Y tú, alza tu bastón, extiende tu mano sobre el mar y divídelo Para que los israelitas entren en el mar sin mojarse Yo voy a endurecer el corazón de los egipcios para que los persigan, y me cubriré de gloria a expensas del faraón y de todo su ejército, de sus carros y jinetes. Cuando me haya cubierto de gloria a expensas del faraón, de sus carros y jinetes, los egipcios sabrán que yo soy el Señor. El ángel del Señor, que iba al frente de las huestes de Israel, se colocó tras ellas, y la columna de nubes que iba adelante también se desplazó y se puso a sus espaldas entre el campamento de los israelitas y el campamento de los egipcios. La nube era tinieblas para unos y claridad para otros, y así los ejércitos no trabaron contacto durante toda la noche. Moisés extendió la mano sobre el mar y el Señor hizo soplar durante toda la noche un fuerte viento del este que secó el mar y dividió las aguas. Los israelitas entraron en el mar y no se mojaban mientras las aguas formaban una muralla a su derecha y a su izquierda. Los egipcios se lanzaron en su persecución y toda la caballería del faraón, sus carros y jinetes, entraron tras ellos en el mar. Hacia el amanecer, el Señor miró desde la columna de fuego y humo al ejército de los egipcios y sembró en ellos el pánico. Trabó las ruedas de sus carros de suerte que no avanzaban, sino pesadamente. Dijeron entonces los egipcios, huyamos de Israel porque el Señor lucha en su favor contra Egipto. Entonces el Señor le dijo a Moisés, extiende tu mano sobre el mar para que vuelvan las aguas sobre los egipcios, sus carros y sus jinetes. Y extendió Moisés su mano sobre el mar, y al amanecer las aguas volvieron a su sitio, de suerte que al huir los egipcios se encontraron con ellas, y el Señor los derribó en medio del mar. Volvieron las aguas y cubrieron los carros a los jinetes y a todo el ejército del faraón que se había metido en el mar para perseguir a Israel. Ni uno solo se salvó. Pero los hijos de Israel caminaban por lo seco en medio del mar. Las aguas les hacían muralla a derecha e izquierda. Aquel día salvó el Señor a Israel de las manos de Egipto. Israel vio a los egipcios muertos en la orilla del mar. Israel vio mano fuerte del Señor sobre los egipcios y el pueblo temió al Señor y creyó en el Señor y en Moisés su siervo entonces Moisés y los hijos de Israel cantaron este cántico al Señor
Let us sing to the Lord. He has covered himself with glory. Let us sing to the Lord. He has covered himself with glory. I will sing to the Lord, for he is gloriously triumphant. Horse and chariot he has cast into the sea. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and he has been my Savior. He is God, I praise him, the God of my Father, I extol him. Let us sing to the chariots and army he hurled into the sea. The elite of his officers were submerged in the Red Sea. Let us sing to the them. They sank into the depths like a stone. Your right hand, O oh Lord, magnificent in power. Your right hand, O oh Lord, has shattered the enemy. Let us sing to the the people you redeemed and planted them on the mountain of your inheritance, the place where you made your seat, O Lord, the sanctuary, Lord, which your hands established, the Lord shall reign forever and ever. Let us sing to the Lord, he has covered himself with glory. Please stand. Oremos. Señor Dios, cuyos antiguos prodigios los percibimos resplandeciendo también en nuestros tiempos, puesto que aquello mismo que realizó la diestra de tu poder para liberar a un solo pueblo de la esclavitud del faraón, lo sigue realizando también ahora por medio del agua del bautismo para salvar a todas las naciones. Concede que todos los hombres del mundo lleguen a contarse entre los hijos de Abraham y participen de la dignidad del pueblo elegido. Por Jesucristo nuestro Señor. Amén. Please be seated.
A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, all you who are thirsty, come to the water. You who have no money, come, receive grain and eat. Come without paying and without cost, drink wine and milk. Why spend money for what is not bread, your wages for what fails to satisfy? Heed me, and you shall eat well. You shall delight in rich fare. Come to me heedfully. Listen that you may have life. I will renew with you the everlasting covenant, the benefits I assured to David. As I made him a witness to the apostles, a leader and commander of nations, so shall you summon a nation you knew not, and nations that knew you not shall run to you. Because of the Lord, your God, the Holy One of Israel, who has glorified you. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call him while he is near. Let the scoundrel forsake his way, and the wicked man his thoughts. Let him turn to the Lord for mercy, to our God, who is generous in forgiving. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. As high as the heavens are above the earth, so high are my ways above your ways, and my thoughts above your thoughts. For just as far from the heavens, the rain and snow come down, and do not return there till they have watered the earth, making it fertile and fruitful, giving seed to the one who sows, and bread to the one who eats. So shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. My word shall not return to me void, but shall do my will, achieving end for which I sent it. The word of the Lord. Please stand. Please be seated.
Denle gracias al Señor, victoria. Let us pray. Almighty ever living God, sole hope of the world, who by the preaching of your prophets unveil the mysteries of this present age, graciously increase the longing of your people for only at the prompting of your grace to the faithful progress in any kind of virtue. Through Christ our Lord. Señor, 
quitas el pecado del mundo, ten piedad de nosotros, tú que quitas el pecado del mundo, atiende nuestra súplica, tú que estás sentado a la derecha de Let us pray. O oh God, who make this most sacred night radiant with the glory of the Lord's resurrection, stir up in your church a spirit of adoption, so that renew in body and mind, we may render you undivided service. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Lectura del apóstol San Pablo a los romanos. Hermanos, todos los que hemos sido incorporados a Cristo Jesús por medio del bautismo, hemos sido incorporados a Él en su muerte. En efecto, por el bautismo fuimos sepultados con Él en su muerte, para que así como Cristo resucitó de entre los muertos, por la gloria del Padre, así también nosotros llevemos una vida nueva. Porque si hemos estado íntimamente unidos a Él por una muerte semejante a la suya, también lo estaremos en su resurrección. Sabemos que nuestro hombre viejo fue crucificado con Cristo para que el cuerpo del pecado queda destruido a fin de que ya no sirvamos al pecado, pues el que ha muerto queda libre del pecado. Por lo tanto, si hemos muerto con Cristo, estamos seguros de que también viviremos con Él, pues sabemos que Cristo, una vez resucitado de entre los muertos, ya no nunca morirá. La muerte ya no tiene dominio sobre él, porque al morir, murió al pecado de una vez para siempre. Y al resucitar, vive ahora para Dios. Lo mismo ustedes. Considérense muertos al pecado y vivos para Dios en Cristo Jesús, Señor nuestro. Palabra de Dios.
Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you. After the Sabbath, as the first day of the week was dawning, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary came to see the tomb. And behold, there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord descended from heaven, approached, rolled back the stone, and sat upon it. His appearance was like lightning, and his clothing was white as snow. The guards were shaken with fear of him and became like dead men. Then the angel said to the woman and replied, Do not be afraid. I know that you are seeking Jesus the crucified. He is not here, for he has been risen just as he said. Came and see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples, he has been risen from dead, and he's going before you to Galilee. There you will see him. Behold, I have told you. Then they went away quickly from the tomb, fearful but yet overjoyed and run to announce to his disciples. And behold, Jesus met them on their way and greet them. They approached, embraced his feet, and did him homage. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go tell my brothers to go to Galilee and there they will see me.
my brothers and sisters, the gospel of the Lord. Praise you. Please be seated. Uh, my brothers and sisters, happy Easter. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Feliz Pascua de Resurrección. So we celebrate, obviously, this evening and tomorrow, the uh, resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. And the angels' words from the gospel tonight are words of joy. He's not here, for he has been raised, just as he said. The tomb where Jesus once laid is empty. That means Jesus has won the victory, that his love is stronger than death. Jesus was raised from the dead, so that we can be raised. He was raised so that we too might live in newness of life, as St. Paul tells us tonight. On this empty tomb, we can walk now in Jesus' footsteps, following the risen Lord, living with him in friendship. Our whole life becomes a beautiful adventure with him. A beautiful adventure that is destined for heaven, for the love that never ends. So let us praise God tonight and thank Him for the gift of the resurrection. Celebramos la resurrección de Jesús y como nos dice San Pablo, así como Cristo resucitó entre los muertos por la gloria del Padre, así también nosotros llevemos una vida nueva. Con Jesús nuestra vida es una bella aventura que está destinada al cielo, al amor que nunca termina. Demos gracias a Dios nuestro Señor por el regalo de la resurrección de Jesús. So this is a beautiful night, especially for you, my dear elect. Tonight, your life will be joined to the great story of salvation that we heard, that we heard uh, this evening in the readings, readings from sacred scripture. Since the day you were born, God has been waiting for this night. You find yourself here, where he has always wanted you to be, at the Lord's empty tomb, ready to be adopted into God's family, his Catholic Church. And for all of us, my dear brothers and sisters, this is, as I said before, a night of joy. But it is also a night of mission. We meet St. Mary Magdalene in the Gospel. She was the first to see Jesus raised from the dead and the first to proclaim him to the world. Mary was a brave woman. All of the apostles except St. John ran away when Jesus was arrested on Holy Thursday. She didn't run. She was there, at the foot of the cross, with Mary and John, when Jesus breathed his last. Mary Magdalene was the first to come to his tomb on that Sunday morning. And when Mary met him there, the risen Lord gave her admission. He said, do not be afraid. 
Go tell my brothers to go to Galilee. There they will, they will see me. So, my brothers and sisters, the risen Lord is also giving us a mission. The mission of the resurrection continues now in your life and my life. As Jesus announced his salvation to those first witnesses, he announces his salvation in this generation through our witness. We are here tonight because like those first disciples, we believe that Jesus has been raised from the dead. We believe that he's alive and that his love for us is real. We are here tonight because we believe that there is nothing more beautiful than to live for Jesus, who gave his life for us. God has led each of you tonight to this empty tomb because he has a mission for you. Just as he had a mission for Mary Magdalene 2,000 years ago. And as he said to her, Jesus says to us, Go, tell your brothers and sisters, your family, your friends, your neighbors. Go, tell them the good news that the tomb is empty, that Jesus has been raised from the dead, as he said. Go, tell them that we can meet the living God and know his love forever. En el Evangelio de hoy escuchamos cómo María Magdalena, junto con la otra María, fueron las primeras que vieron a Jesús después de su resurrección. Y Jesús les dio una misión. No tengan miedo. Vayan a decir a mis hermanos que se dirijan a Galilea. Allá me verán. Jesús resucitado nos ha dado una misión a cada uno de nosotros. Estamos aquí porque de verdad creemos que no hay nada más bello que vivir para Jesús, que dio su vida por nosotros, pero que ha resucitado y está siempre con nosotros. Y como le dijo a María Magdalena, Jesús nos dice a cada uno de nosotros, ve y dile a tus hermanos y hermanas, a tu familia, a tus amigos, a tus vecinos, que Jesús ha resucitado y que pueden conocer y tener el amor de Dios en sus vidas para siempre. So, happy Easter, my dear brothers and sisters. Let us ask for the grace to live every day with the joy of this holy night. And let us ask Holy Mary, Mother of Joy, to keep us close to her risen son, that we might always know the joy of his resurrection and share it with all the world. Feliz Pascua de Resurrección. Le pedimos a María Santísima que nos tenga siempre cerca de su Hijo, Jesús y que nos ayude a compartir la alegría de la resurrección de Jesús con todo el mundo. En nombre del Padre, en del Son, en nombre del Espíritu. Those who are to be baptized, please come forward. Veronica Conde, Soraya Dancex, Hayden Dancex, Lila Dancex, Lynette Luster, Mariah Casillas, Candice Tom, Pamela Acuna. David Gomez.
Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Holy Mary, Mother of God, St. Paul, pray for us. St. Andrew, pray for us. St. John, pray for us. St. Mary Magdalene, pray for us. St. Stephen, pray for us. St. Ignatius of Saint Lawrence, Saint Perpetual and Saint Felicity, Saint Agnes, Saint Gregory, Saint Augustine. Saint Athignatius, pray for us. Saint Basil, pray for us. Saint Martin, pray for us. Saint Benedict, pray for us. Saint Francis, Saint Dominic, pray for us. Saint Francis Xavier, for us. Saint John Vianney, for us. Saint Catherine of Siena, for us. Saint Teresa of Jesus, for us. Saint Viviana. Saints of God, pray for us. Lord, be merciful. Lord, deliver us, we pray. From all evil. Lord, deliver us, we pray. From every sin. Everlasting death, Lord, deliver us, we pray. By your incarnation, Lord, deliver us, we pray. By your death and resurrection, Lord, deliver us, we pray. By the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Merciful to us sinners, Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. Bring these chosen ones to new birth through the grace of baptism. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. Jesus, Son of the Living God, Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. Hear us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. Christ, graciously hear us.
Dearly beloved, with one heart and one soul, let us by our prayers come to the aid of these, our brothers and sisters, in their blessed hope, so that as they approach the point of rebirth, the Almighty Father may bestow on them all his merciful help. Almighty, ever-living God, be present by the mysteries of your great love and send forth the spirit of adoption to create the new peoples brought to birth for you in the font of baptism. So what is to be carried out by our humble service may be brought to fulfillment by your mighty power, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. O oh God, who by invisible power accomplished a wondrous effect through sacramental signs, and who in many ways have prepared water your, your creation to show forth the grace of baptism. O oh God, whose spirit in the first moments of the world's creation hovered over the waters, so that the very substance of water will even then take to itself the power to sanctify. O oh God, who by the outpouring of the flood foreshadowed regeneration, so that from the mystery of one and the same element of water will come an end to vice and a beginning of virtue. O oh God, who caused the children of Abraham to pass dry shot through the Red Sea, so the chosen people, set free from slavery to Pharaoh, will prefigure the people of the, of the baptized. O God, whose Son, baptized by John in the waters of the Jordan, was anointed with the Holy Spirit as he hung upon the cross, gave forth water from, the, from his side along with blood, and after his resurrection commanded his disciples, Go forth, till all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Look now, we pray, upon the face of your church, and graciously unseal for her the fountain of baptism. May this water receive by the Holy Spirit the grace of your only begotten Son, so that human nature created in your image and washed clean through the sacrament of baptism. From all the squalor of the life of all, may be found worthy to rise to the life of newborn children through water and the Holy Spirit. May the power of the Holy Spirit, O oh Lord, we pray, come down through your Son into the fullness of this fund, so that all who have been buried with Christ by baptism into death may rise again to life with Him, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Dear elect, I ask you now to renounce sin and profess faith. Do you renounce Satan and all his works and all his empty show? Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death, and was buried? Cross again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting?
Annette, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Very good. God bless you. All right. Congratulations. Then I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Wonderful, yeah. <laughs> I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Veronica, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Congratulations. God bless you. I love you. Candace, are you ready? Waiting for a long time. I know. Thank you. Take care of you. Okay. you. Candace, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Congratulations. Amen. Amen. Pamela, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Congratulations. David, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
My dear brothers and sisters, through the Paschal Mystery, we have been buried with Christ in baptism so that we may walk with him in newness of life. And so now that our Lenten observance is concluded, let us re renew the promises of holy baptism, by which we once renounced Satan and all his works and promise to serve God in the Holy Catholic Church. And so I ask you, do you renounce Satan? I do. And all his works? I do. And all his empty show? I do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints? the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. I do. And may Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and bestow on us forgiveness of our sins, keep us by his grace in Christ Jesus our Lord for eternal life. Amen. 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 Praise to the one who formed you. 
down from your depths a hymn that tells the wonders God has done. Oh, blessed be God forever. Blessed be God forever. Springs of water, bless the Lord. Give him glory and praise forever. Rivers and lakes sing glory to God. Praise all you ponds and bogs, rich with the life that God creates. Now let your song be heard. Oh, blessed be God forever. Blessed be God forever. Springs of with joy from peak to valley laughing and clear your song oh blessed be God forever blessed be God forever springs of Sing glory to God, praise all you living waters. Shower the earth with life and goodness, shower the grace of God. Oh, blessed be God forever, blessed be God forever. Springs of water, bless the Lord, give Him glory and praise Please be seated.
Please stand. God, parents, please come forward to give the newly baptized the light of Christ.
You have been enlightened by Christ. Walk always as children of the light and keep the flame of faith alive in your hearts. When the Lord comes, may you go to meet him with all the saints in the heavenly kingdom. Amen. My dear newly baptized, born again in Christ by baptism, you have become members of Christ and of his priestly people. Now you are to share in the outpouring of the Holy Spirit among us, the Spirit sent by the Lord upon his apostles at Pentecost and given by them and their successors to be, to be baptized. The promise is strengthened of the Holy Spirit, which you are to receive, will make you more like Christ and help you to be witnesses to his suffering, death, and resurrection. He will strengthen you to be active members of the Church and to build up the body of Christ in faith and love. Dearly beloved, let us pray to God the Almighty Father for these, his adopted sons and daughters, already born again to eternal life in baptism, that he will graciously pour out the Holy Spirit upon them and confirm them with his abundant gifts, and through his anointing, conform them more fully to Christ, the Son of God. Almighty God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who brought these, your servants, to new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, freeing them from sin, send upon them, O Lord, the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Give them the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and fortitude, the spirit of knowledge and piety. Fill them with the spirit of the fear of the Lord. Through Christ our Lord. Sebastian, be sealed, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Mary, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you.
Genevieve, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Faustina, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Rita, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Alice, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Congratulations. Joseph, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Rita, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Congratulations. Basil, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Congratulations. Congratulations to you all. My brothers and sisters, the Lord delights to provide for his people, trusting in his goodness. Let us offer our prayers this night. For the church, may God's great love draw many souls to his Son, Jesus Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Por todos nuestros gobernantes, que Dios mueva sus corazones a servir con humildad, protegiendo siempre a los inocentes y a los más vulnerables, roguemos al Señor. Te rogamos, Señor. For people suffering from chronic illness, may God bring them hope amid their suffering. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Por nuestra comunidad de fe, para que al celebrar la resurrección de Cristo, nos conduzca a vivir una nueva vida como discípulos, roguemos al Señor. Te rogamos, Señor. For those who have died in faith, may Christ welcome them with joy into his heavenly kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, all power in heaven and on earth is yours. Please hear and answer our prayers in your wisdom, through your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Please be seated.
Alleluia. The stone rejected by the builders has become the corner stone. How can we be a source of new life and hope for those around us? I'd invite the ministers of hospitality to pass the baskets to receive your gifts. Thank you for your generosity.
pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As if we ask, O oh Lord, the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings that what has begun in the Paschal Mysteries may, by the working of your power, bring us to the healing of eternity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right, right and just our dear in our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But on this night, above all, to love you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death and by rising, restore our life. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give light to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather people to yourself, so from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit that graciously make holy these gifts, have brought to you for consecration, they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be put out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith.
Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wonderful resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Do we pray upon the oblation of your Church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim, by whose day you will to reconcile us to yourself, and that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O oh Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant, Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Archbishop, the order of bishops, and all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom we have some here before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom, there we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Llenos de alegría por ser hijos de Dios, digamos confiadamente la oración que Cristo nos enseñó. Padre nuestro que estás en el cielo, santificado sea tu nombre. Venga a nosotros tu reino. Hágase tu voluntad en la tierra como en el cielo. Danos hoy nuestro pan de cada día. Perdona nuestras ofensas, como también nosotros perdonamos a los que nos ofenden. No nos dejes caer en la tentación. Y líbranos del mal. Líbranos de todos los males, Señor, y concédenos la paz en nuestros días, para que, ayudados por tu misericordia, vivamos siempre libres de pecado y protegidos de toda perturbación, mientras esperamos la gloriosa venida de nuestro Salvador Jesucristo. Señor Jesucristo, que dijiste a tus apóstoles, la paz les dejo, mi paz les doy. No tengas en cuenta nuestros pecados, sino a la fe de tu Iglesia. Y conforme a tu palabra, concédele la paz y la unidad. Tú que vives y reinas por los siglos de los siglos. La paz del Señor esté siempre con todos ustedes. Tense en un saludo de paz.
Este es el Cordero de Dios que quita el pecado del mundo. Dichosos los invitados a la cena del Señor.
Let us pray. Pour out on us, O Lord, the spirit of your love and your kindness. Make those you have nourished by this Paschal Sacrament one in mind and heart. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 As a pastor of the cathedral, on behalf of our Archbishop Jose Gomez, I want to wish all of you again Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Feliz Pascua a todos. Feliz Buena Pascua. Christ is risen. Alleluia, alleluia. Thank you, Archbishop, for bringing new members in our family of Catholic Church. We are very grateful to you for welcoming them. Now you have a mission, as Archbishop says, to be Mary Magdalene to your family, to your friends, your neighbors, to say to the world, that the world is a better place now because Christ has risen from the dead and that's your mission to continue to do that from now on. Congratulations, welcome. I also want to thank all the volunteers that made this beautiful ceremony so possible, the choir, of course, wonderful performance. and all the staff of the cathedral for helping us. Thank you. Happy Easter to all of you. God bless you. That's all. Please stand for the final blessing. As we continue to celebrate Easter during the next, next weeks, let us uh, keep reflecting on the beautiful new life that we have with Jesus with us and also uh, the mission of bringing the beauty of the life and teachings of our Lord Jesus Christ to the people of our time. Especially pray for all of you uh, coming to the, uh, in fullness to the uh, beauty of uh, our family, the Catholic Church. And uh, let's continue to pray for one another. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May Almighty God bless you through, through today's sister solemnity and in his compassion defend you from every assault of sin. Amen. Amen. And may he who restores you to eternal life in the resurrection of his only begotten Son endow you with the price of immortality. Amen. Amen. Now that the days of the Lord's passions have drawn to a close, may you who celebrate the gladness of the Paschal Feast come with Christ's help and exalt in the spirit to those feasts that are celebrated in eternal joy. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace, alleluia, alleluia. Thank be to God, 